Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Basico Service Now Learning. So in today's video, I am going to talk about one of the service now utility which is helpful for service now developer and admin and it's a browser extension the utility name is sn utils tool and this extension is free so i know that uh, most of us are uh, already aware of this utility and the motive behind this video is to provide information to beginners or to those who are not aware of this ut utility uh, their benefits and like how to install the same right so let me demonstrate you that how this utility is beneficial for service node developer and admin so for that what i have done is that i have opened uh, my personal development instance in two browser the first browser is chrome and the another browser is microsoft edge so in microsoft edge i have not installed this extension and in chrome i have installed this extension so first i will demonstrate the browser where we don't have this utility so to demonstrate that what exactly we are looking for and how this utility will be beneficial once i will demonstrate the chrome browser so here we have this microsoft edge browser so let me open uh, incident form let me close this first so let me open the incident form uh, click on open and open any of the incident i normally choose incident because we all are aware of this right so let's say we have an incident form and we have a requirement where we have to add something uh, in state drop down or let's say we have to present some data where we have to take values from the state drop down or, or let's say we have to implement something where we need a data from lots of other fields too so what we have to do basically we have to go to the field then we have to click right click over here field right then we have to see the backend name of that particular field and then we have to use that name same we have to do for another field go there and then again okay and if we have to open this reference field then we have to open the table see what exactly is happening same for drop down we are not aware of the backend names or we can see the value of the options which is displaying over their name right because we have to use their values while writing the scripts so it means we have to follow some of the steps and after that we can get the backend names of the fields and the values and then we have to use while doing scripting right and if we need more information again we have to do the same things let's say we have ui buttons over here update resolve delete right and we have to see that what exactly written for those ui buttons then we have to go to ui action we have to write the button name search particular record and have to check the code okay so th there are lots of steps which we have to follow so if that utility is available or installed in a particular browser then how it will be beneficial for us as a service not developer so let me demonstrate you the same in the chrome browser so here we have a chrome browser so same let op let's open the incident form see i open the incident form over here so here see i have a utility which is installed over here that is as an utils tool for service now okay so let me open one of the incident so here we have an incident and let's say i am doing a scripting and i need a backend name of category or subcategory or i need a value of this drop down options right or lots of other things so what i have to do i have to just click right click over a form see here i have an option that is as in utils tools for service now where we have tools in tools we have lots of other options let's say show technical names pop in pop out cancel transactions show hidden fields and sections properties there are lots of options so for today demonstration i am only using show technical names you can like explore lots of other options too okay so if i click on show technical names see here see all the technical names of all the fields are displaying see here in that way caller caller id category category subcategory subcategory service is basically a business underscore service then service offering see even though ui actions also have see question mark see once i over over the question mark it shows me click to open ui action okay press control and click 
see it is showing me ui action sys id okay and i click over here it open a particular ui option in a new tab which is basically showing me that the name the script and all that what whatever is mentioned for that particular ui action all data okay directly we can navigate over there same let's say if i have to write something for this particular field then i also have the values of new is one in progress values two on hold values three i can directly use these values right while doing coding so it is basically reducing the number of steps right here we also have see table fields let me click over here so it is showing me that basically data displayed over in this form is basically coming from two tables that is task and incident so as we are aware of that basically task is a parent table and incident is basically a child table right so what all fields are coming from incident are displayed over here what all fields are coming from task tables are basically displayed over here check mark over there right and you can also find it over here the value one is basically coming from incident and the value which is coming from task basically displayed with zero let's say see business service tick it means it is displayed over the form see it is basically coming from task and this field let's say caller id see one it is basically coming from the incident okay even though if you want to open this particular reference field just click control and open the same in another browser directly you can see okay what exactly the user is what all values are over there right what exactly the things are what all roles are assigned to that particular user same for other reference field let's say uh, business services so it is basically filtered with society in as a blank so let me click on all over there means you can directly navigate to all the reference tables directly from here also even though you can get more information of all the fields okay so there is one more way uh, apart from like go and uh, searching the option here and clicking uh, in this particular technical name what you can do you can directly click double click on a form and this all the fields get open in front of you okay so this is the main benefit which basically as a service node developer you will be getting after installing this utility so see here if you click if you click over here you get one more window over here where will where you will get lots of other informations so i suggest you to first explore the same if you have any questions related to this utility about any of the option you can uh, write your uh, questions in a comment section so i will answer all those comments okay see so i believe now you know that how it this utility will be helpful for us right let me showcase you one another example so i'll navigate to this edge browser now i'll type over here let's say background script so beginners basically write code over here in editor section right just to execute and see their code is working or not so let me write one of the syntax where gr equals to new glide record right see no suggestion nothing is happening over here right so it's a bit difficult for beginners or the people those who are writing the code in background because none of the suggestion is given over here right in a editor section so but after installing this utility let me navigate let me navigate to the background script this change into something different okay so let me type the same code see it is giving me a suggestion new live record see here everything is over here so you can just write the code see all the things available over here so it makes easy for you to write the code to see what is happening what exactly the output right it is basically easier for you to uh, write the code uh, after installing this uh, service now utility right so i believe whatever demonstration i have given in this particular uh, video will be helpful that after installing and before installing this utility what exactly the benefits are okay so now the thing that how you can install this particular extension so it's very simple to install what you have to do you have to go to google you have to type like let's say sn utils for chrome or edge or firefox and directly you will get a link 
from there you can directly install the same so in chrome browser i have already this utility installed so because of that it is showing me remove from chrome okay but if you don't have this utility in your uh, browser then there is a different button available to install the same let me give you example over here in edge browser so i have i don't have a utility over here apart from google chrome let's say if you navigate to my website where i have already posted the same that how you can install the utility in the multiple browsers so i will also post this link in this comment section you can directly navigate to that particular page and you can find the link over there let's say if you are in chrome browser click on this chrome if you are in i browser sorry in ie we cannot install the same right in mozilla firefox you will find the link over here and for microsoft edge click over this link see directly you navigate to that particular area on get add extension and this utility get install see here now we have this utility refresh the page let's see open the incident form over here see now this utility is available in microsoft s2 so in the same way you can install the same and can like uh use all the things whatever displayed over here in a single go there is no need to perform multiple uh, steps so i believe this video is helpful for you and i have posted the link to install this utility in comment section you can click on that link and uh, like install this utility on your browser and if you think that this video is helpful for you then please do subscribe my channel and if you find that this video is not helpful then please provide your suggestions and feedback below in comment section Hey friends have a nice day bye bye